I first of all would like to uh, welcome uh, Dr. Shin, the economic advisor and head of research at the uh, BIS. What uh, initially I, I knew of uh, Hyun Shin's work was his theoretical side. He has a way to think uh, outside the box that is particularly attractive and provocative. I propose to uh, tell you a little bit about the global liquidity and procyclicality. This has to do with the role of the dollar in the global financial system. The dollar is used mainly in the United States. And indeed, the way that we, we think about international uh, finance is to say, well, the exchange rate is just the relative price of goods. And the currency is mainly used in the borders of that country. But it turns out that the dollar is very special. So we know that the dollar is a very important invoicing currency for trade. And this means that trade credit and uh, uh, financing of trade will be in dollars. But that's a very small part. A much more important part is that if you are invoicing in dollars, your cash flow is in dollars. Therefore, if you want to invest, it's very natural for you to borrow in dollars in order to invest because uh, uh, the invoicing currency will give you at least some hedge. When the dollar appreciates, cross-border lending and borrowing in dollars shrinks. So the dollar becomes very much a, um, a risk factor that determines leverage. From a methodological point of view, we have to reorient ourselves in how we uh, think about the global economy. We're interested in uh, GDP components, consumption, investment, net exports. But what is the unit of measurement when we, when we measure consumption? Well, first of all, we have to have a well-defined GDP area because GDP has to be measured within a region. And the question is, how do we map consumption with a balance sheet? There are two ways to go. One is to go and drill down to the firm level. So if we drill down to the firm level data, this is the trend, I think this is now the very much the trend in empirical work. The other alternative is actually to drill up. So if you're operating at the global level and operating with global aggregates, then that's another way of capturing uh, these macro effects. If you want to get to the bottom of global liquidity, you have to have a global analysis rather than an international analysis. The international model doesn't map very well to the, to the balance sheet dimension.